<clears throat> oh, I hope that I'm not forgetting how to shoot a video like this. Wish me luck. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff, and today's video is a bit of a hybrid video. Not only are we going to be talking about a newly discovered Slipknot mask, but we're also going to be unboxing said newly discovered Slipknot mask, and I'm pretty excited. Stuff like this just really gets me going. The fact that 25 plus years later, we're still able to discover new stuff about the good old days of Slipknot, that's awesome. So, in order for me to present this video to you accurately or properly, there is going to be a bit of a timeline that you have to follow, just to kind of tell you guys how this all came to be. Lots of flashbacks in the next couple of minutes, so be prepared. Now, we are going to start around this time a year ago, during the Thanks Killing event that Sid Wilson and I threw here in Chillicothe. So, last November, Sid Wilson and I threw a concert where we pretty much unleashed Swollen Teeth to the world, and it was awesome. The entire weekend was great. Getting to spend that weekend with Sid and just learn and experience so many new things was something that I could never ever put into words. And over the course of that weekend, a lot of cool stuff happened outside of the concert. One of those cool things was shooting a massive walkthrough video with Sid Wilson here at the building. And that video actually just hit 1 million views here on YouTube, which is incredible. So thank you guys very, very much for the love and support on that video. Now, in that video, we talk about pretty much everything under the sun. There are tons of interesting little fun facts and new stories being told from Sid's perspective. Lots and lots of new information hit the internet because of that video, and that is something that I'm super stoked about. One of those very specific pieces of information is a story that Sid told about a gas mask that he used in Slipknot that he doesn't actually own. Now, here's where you guys need to be thankful for those SpongeBob flashback time cards, because I could sit here and just tell you the story, or I could hit you with a SpongeBob flashback time card and let Sid Wilson tell you himself. Flashback. This one, I never actually got to have. This is a Dean Carr's mask. Oh yeah, Dean Carr, the photographer. This was his mask, and he brought it for the photo shoot, and then I wore it in the photos, and yeah. then he took it back after the photos, and I was fucking really bitter. Because you wore this the same day. I was super bitter. And just, I've worn that one a lot. Yeah, but you had that in the that was same, mine. The Dean Carr photos. You yeah. swap between these. But I was I was super bitter, and it was these three. Yeah, I went between the original that and this one. This one I only wore under the pier. And the photos under the pier are fucking sick. Um, I was super jaded though. Why wouldn't he get because I, he was just like, "That's mine. That's my mask." Yeah. Yeah. I was super. I was like, "Dude, I don't like. I don't ever like. I have to have it. Like, you have to give that to me." And he wouldn't give it to me. I uh, went and found. I never went to go find one though. End of flashback. So, there you have it. Dean Carr brought this mask to the photo shoot under the pier and Sid wore it, but Sid was not able to get Dean to give him that mask and that hurt Sid's feelings. So, obviously, I found this super interesting for a number of reasons. I mean, obviously, it's like old school Slipknot stuff, but also because the next night, Sid Wilson actually called me up on stage and gifted me one of his masks. That was a big deal. He brought me up on stage, he gifted me his screen-used yin mask, and it was just a beautiful, beautiful moment in my life that I'll never forget. Flashback. Where's AJ? AJ's here the toilet. Here he comes. Here he comes. Ah. Oh, sorry, sir. Yeah, this is for AJ good. Everyone, let's uh, give AJ a hand for putting this yeah. Oh, yeah. 
flashback. Now, I'm not just bringing this up to brag about it. I'm bringing this up because it all came full circle. About a year later, we're at Palefest 2023, and I have actually tracked down a USN gas mask to give to Sid, the ultimate reverse Uno card. He gave me the Yin mask last year, and I knew that he was looking for a very specific mask, so I tracked it down to give to him the next year, and it all worked out. Wholesome content, gang. It was awesome. Flashback. A while back, Sid came and visited the House of Masks. That video just hit a million views, by the way. Congrats. Oh, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. And Am he I monetized that? Yeah, dude, I'm sending the cut to you. <laughs> he told me that there was one mask that he wore in Slipknot that he didn't get to keep because Dean, the photographer, would fucking give it to you. So I tracked one down. It's the correct one. Your collection is complete. Look at me out here making dreams. Making dreams a reality. Oh, the US in. Woo! Look at that, man. That's the one mask I do <laughs> that I wore. Now you have it, and Meg is doing this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Meg is doing this. That's sick. There it is, man. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for everything. <laughs> End of flashback. Another beautiful moment in my life. Sid was fucking stoked and everything was right in the world. We thought that we had completed Sid's collection until, I don't know, two days later when my buddy Gaber Toth hit me up and was like, yo, you ever seen this? And it was yet another Sid Wilson gas mask being used under the pier in that same exact photo shoot that the USN was used. So. What we have to unbox in today's video is going to be that exact mask that Gaber brought to my attention. And without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and hop on into the package and pull this thing out and we can talk a little bit about it. Holy fuck, they made this package strong. Anyways, let's go ahead and take this guy out and see exactly what we've got. Oh my God, there is nothing like the smell of a gas mask. It has a very specific rubbery smell and this is taking me back right now i'm on a complete nostalgia trip just off of the first whiff of this mask that i got i feel like i'm in old times the good old days of slipknot mask unboxings all right so we've got the mask here i'm gonna get rid of some of this packing material i am going to hold this up and show you guys behind the plastic just as one last little teaser of the mask because as we pull this out i am going to announce that not only do we have the Soviet PBF gas mask, but I do believe that I am the first one to add it to my Slipknot collection. Bam, bam, bam. Yes, what we have here is the Soviet PBF gas mask, the EO-19 gas mask, and yes, it does look strikingly similar to another gas mask that Sid has used. The Russian SCHMS, or the White Monkey, as the community has dubbed it. Obviously, there are some differences. This has a very flat face, and it's got these big bulbous cheeks with these various filters on the side, whereas the white monkey just has a very tight fitting face that comes down to a hose and the hose runs down to whatever canister you have attached to it. But the tops of these masks are almost identical. I would argue to say that they were almost made from the same exact molds with slight retoolings to the bottom there. I don't know which one came first. I'm not super, super knowledgeable on gas masks. I am sure that there is a gas mask enthusiast out there that is watching this and just thinks that I'm a complete fool, but maybe they can help us down in the comments. What came first, the Russian SCHMS gas mask or the Soviet PBF gas mask, let me know. I'm actually very, very curious about this. Regardless, we've got this. I am the first person to add this to my collection, yet another world's first for my collection, which I am always stoked about because, you know what, there's not really a reason to be stoked about it other than the fact that it makes some people out there mad. Fucking crybabies. What I am far, far more stoked about than being the first person to add it to my collection or the first person to bring it to the public's knowledge is the fact that we can still do this. 25 plus years later, we are still finding out new things about the good old days of Slipknot, whether that's solving a mask mystery, getting completely new masks to add to our collections, and so on and so forth. There's just a plethora of things that are still happening. A lot of people out there are like, dude, what are you gonna do when you run out of Slipknot masks to collect? Like, what are you gonna do when there's no more masks to add to the collection? And one, I think that's impossible. I'm still nowhere near 
having a completed collection. There are so many masks out there that I am missing. But two, I think that stuff like this is going to happen for a very, very long time. There are so many missing pieces of footage, missing photos, things that we remember seeing on the internet way back in the early 2000s that we can't even find a shrap or a shred of evidence of. There is rumored to be a tattoo the earth mask out there that has a knife stuck directly through the head, but no one can find pictures of it. People swear that that thing exists exists and they have very very detailed recollections and memories of seeing this thing in magazines and stuff so I love it I think that this type of thing just keeps the hobby from going stale it keeps everything fresh and it gives us something to look forward to and every time it happens I get a huge nostalgia trip and I get very, very excited because this makes it seem like the golden years of Slipknot collecting again. I know it sounds silly, but literally just opening that package up and smelling this gas mask brought me back to a time 10 or 12 years ago when I was unboxing gas masks regularly and building up my Sid Wilson collection. So I just absolutely love it. It makes me feel really, really good inside. That's what she said. And with all that being said, I don't really think there's too much else to add to this video. So I think we're gonna go ahead and close this one down. I wanna give a massive, massive shout out to Gaber Toth, CJ Peros, and Mike Covert for helping me with this piece. CJ actually owns the original Dean Carr photo set of the Pier photo shoot. So he hooked us up with some really nice images. Gaber was obviously the one that brought this to my attention initially, and then Mike Covert mentioned it like maybe a week later. So shout out to all those guys. I really, really appreciate you guys, and thank you for helping make this video possible, helping solve this mystery, or I guess it wasn't really much of a mystery. It was more of just a new discovery. So thank you guys for helping bring this to the light. And with that out of the way, I would like to thank you guys, the viewers, for being here and watching this video. Thank you guys so much for your support. I definitely appreciate it. Now, with all of that being said, we have nothing left to do but show this thing off with some nice hero shots and then get it added to the collection to show it off there as well. That is going to be a big pain in the ass because I have a shitload of gas masks to move out of the way to put this thing in somewhat chronological order where it goes. So so let's go ahead and shut this one down. I'll leave you guys with some nice up close shots of this and some shots of it in the collection and that will be that. Until next time, this has been AJ Good here at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to newly discovered masks and we will see you guys in the next one.